let's continue cleaning up the content here on the main page. So on this session we're going to get rid of this heading and uh, put a different picture on here and move it to the left and bring this weather widget over to the right. So to get started we'll come in here to the default page and get rid of this heading. And I'm going to actually put in a couple breaks just to keep things moved down a little bit. And then I'm going to wrap this image in a div and give this div a class of, let's see, let's give it a name. I don't want to call it rounded corners, but maybe rounded box. Because it's going to pick up, we have that rounded corners class on our master page. So it would actually pick that up. So I'm going to put this one here. And then I'm going to change the picture to, let's see, I've got a storefront adjusted that will drop in here instead. And then I'm going to get rid of the height off this, and but we will set a width. And since it's in the image tag, this is always in pixels. So I don't remember um, this weather widget. Oh, there it is. Width, this is 180. Our whole thing is 760. Is that right? So I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to make this five. 550, and we'll see if things fit. And if not, we'll just come and adjust this size till things fit. Then I'm going to copy this class here. And the reason I'm using a class for this is I'm going to make all my boxes. Well, I'm going to put everything on this page in a box and then uh, do some stuff with that box. And to do what we're going to do here is come up here and add a style section to the head part of the document. And in the style section, we'll put our rounded class, our rounded box class. And inside here, what I want to do is set a background color. And let's just set it to blue for now. We can, again, change this when we talk to Scott. And I want uh, to set a little padding inside this. So what I'm going to basically do is make it look like some type of border around our all of our little boxes. And I'm going to set the padding to, I'll we'll just set it to 1x. Or, you know, let's do it in, uh, let's do it in pixels. I'm going to set this to 10 pixels for now. And then, uh, I also want to float all these boxes to the left. And this will position things and get them where I want them to go. So we'll float this one to the left. And then I also, to get the rounded corners on these guys, I'm going to go back to my master page and grab this rounded corners code. It's this CSS3 stuff for making rounded corners. Paste it in here and then we'll just pretty this up a little bit. Okay, so that uh, is most of what I want to do on this page. Let's go take a look at it. There'll be one problem that will have to fix here, but let's just check our sizes on this now. So you notice, okay, so, so that the home page is gone. I didn't make this quite narrow enough, so there is not enough room for the picture and the sidebar. So let's go make the picture a little narrower. So let's run this down to 500 pixels. and then take a look at it. Okay, so there we go. So this is the layout that we want, although I really want this guy to float over here to the right. Or what we can also do is put some, set his margin to move him over here as well. So why don't we float him to the right? That'd be the easiest way to do it. And uh, let's see, I'm going to leave him in the class rounded box, but I'm also going to give him an ID of um, 
weather widget. And then up here we'll say pound, oops, pound weather widget. And we'll just float him to the right. Since this one comes, le this rule comes later, you know, it's probably not the best way to do it. It comes later, so it'll take precedence. You know, I floated him left up here, and I floated him right down here. Let's take a look at this. And okay, so that floats him to the right, so we get that space between. You notice it makes a nice even border here. So this is looking pretty good. Let's go take a look at it in Chrome. So this one has some nice rounded corners on it. Let's look at it in Firefox. So same thing in Firefox. We've got the nice rounded corners. You notice we also need to set the height though. It's, since we float these guys, they're not being picked up in that minimum height on our master page. So um, to fix that, it's just this little trick. All we do is come down here and put a, let's see if this works, I'm thinking this will work, put a BR for the clear equals all. I think that should take care of it. That'll give us some content that's down below the box. There we go. So that moves our page down. We'll also come back in the next tutorial and put a footer down here. So this is looking pretty good. You know, we want to have more than one sidebar over here. But this is looking better. Again, you know, I think the real big trick here is to get a decent looking picture for Scott. Um, and let me just show you what I'm going to try to get for that. Is if we, uh, see, I think I have it marked over here in my favorites, is, uh, he has kind of a cool picture of the store at night. So this one is kind of a cool looking one. That uh, that might work out. So I don't know if we can see that picture big. Something like that. Um, anyway, I think that one looks cool. So we'll see what Scott thinks. But that's it for this one. We'll come back and do a little more work on this master page, or sorry, the main page in the next tutorial.